Do you notice the world falling apart? Are you tired of the lies and deception? If so, then welcome to my channel where we expose the lies and uncover the truth, helping you get ready for what's coming in the world and helping you get prepared now. Welcome to All Day Everyday Preparedness. Welcome back to All Day Everyday Preparedness, and this is All Day Everyday Preparedness News. Earlier this Sunday morning, another train derailed in McPherson, Kansas. Now, according to reports, the Union Pacific train carrying denatured alcohol derailed and caused a small grass fire. Now, denatured alcohol is very flammable, and it's often used just for that purpose, such as an alcohol stove. Now, officials from McPherson say that no one was hurt in the latest train derailment, and so far, there's no threat to the community. But what's going on with all these train derailments? I want to know what you think is going on. Let me know in the comments. Now, so far, we've seen two in Ohio, one in Alabama, one in California, one in Florida, one in West Virginia, and now two in Kansas within the past month. This just doesn't feel right to me. I've never seen anything like this before, or at least in my recent memory, I cannot think of a time that there were this many accidents involving trains. So if the report holds for this one in McPherson, Kansas, at least no one was injured and there's no long-term environmental effects like the disaster that happened recently in East Palestine, Ohio. I mean, is there something on the tracks that's causing these trains to crash and derail? Is this operator error? Either way, we know that something has to be going on. Now, railway transportation, as you know, is a vital industry here in America. So many of our goods and products and building materials, food, clothing, and more are transported each and every day by railway. Now, most U.S. cities and towns are directly linked to the railroad and the railway. So with this recent trend that's appearing to happen more and more frequently, you have to ask yourself, am I prepared if this happens where I live? You see, and preparedness is so important, especially in the times that we're living in. These are strange and peculiar times. And if something like this did happen where you live, are you prepared for it? Do you have the basics covered? Do you have enough food stored away? Do you have a way to clean and filter your water if the water becomes polluted and undrinkable like in Ohio? We have to start thinking about these things now because if we're honest, then we can truly say we haven't seen anything yet. There are more and more things that are going to happen in this world that we live. The difference will be Will you be ready when it comes your way? So guys, there's a lot of things happening right now. Make sure that you apply your due diligence and you're taking steps toward getting prepared. The old saying still holds true. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready because more or less, we're already in tornado season, which is from March through July. And we're going to see a lot more strange weather events as time moves on. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up this edition of All Day Everyday Preparedness News. Make sure that you like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Continue to prepare and as always, be blessed.